Hey guys, this is Nicole Van Tassel with I Explore Science, and this video is all about phenomena. I know when you're getting started with phenomena, it can be really overwhelming to understand what it is, how to use it, how it works in your lessons, you know, what are students doing with it, how do you use it to plan? I mean, there's like a bazillion questions. So I just wanted to outline some of the basics so that when you are ready to build your storylines, which are built around phenomena, you kind of know what you're doing. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna cover some of the basics. So first of all, phenomena are events or processes that happen in the natural world. So it's a pretty simple explanation. The key thing is in the natural world. So these things are happening in the real world. They are not, um, they are not the, the things you create in your classroom that students are using to investigate. Um, they are actually like in the real world we can see it happening we might take some of those things and bring them into the classroom and we will have students investigate those to figure out um, some concepts and ideas but those are lower level phenomena and that's not typically what we're talking about when we're talking about um, planning our units or our storylines so just keep in mind if this is happening in the real world it's not the seeds you bring into the classroom it's the seeds growing outside it's not the condensation that's that you're bringing you, you know you're contriving you're bringing in when you bring in a cold coke can and do a lab about it it's um you know condensation forming on a a window outside your classroom or water evaporating from, from a puddle so this is the example i always love to use it's not the water cycle because a lot of times we think about processes like we think about these big models these big concepts the water cycle um, it's not that. What it is, is water disappearing from a parking lot puddle on a hot day. That's something that students have an immediate connection to. Um, they can, they've seen it, it probably in their own lives, but let's say they live somewhere that they've never seen it. They've seen it in movies. They um, can relate to it. It's, it's not small, but it's real. Um, and a phenomenon is the starting point of every NGSS storyline. So you are always going to start your units with um, a phenomenon. And the reason for that is the storyline is the concepts that are linked back to that phenomenon. And they are, um, it's, it's what keeps everything cohesive so that students can understand how one single concept relates to the next and relates to the next and all ties back to explaining that big idea or that big problem, which is your phenomenon. So there are different types of phenomena. So you have your anchor, and these are like those big events or processes that you're linking many science concepts to drive extended investigations, and they happen in the real world. So like I said at the beginning, um, if they happen in the natural world, they're happening in the real world. It is, again, not those fast plants you bring into the classroom to manipulate um, in a lab. It is rather the plants that are growing outside in the fields or um, the plants that are growing in their parents' garden, whatever. Now, an investigative phenomena is something that's going to address a single concept or a single objective. Um, these are going to provide tangible opportunities to discover those science ideas, and they can be brought into the classroom. Your storylines are going to have one big anchor, but they're going to have a lot of investigative phenomena because every time students need to learn a new concept or a new idea, they're going to investigate it through a phenomenon. They're going to use their science and engineering practices to investigate a phenomenon and then discover that, science, that small science idea, and then they're going to tie that back to the anchor. Again, you are connecting your science concepts with phenomena. That is what is linking these ideas together. So we're abandoning the um, textbook, chapter by chapter, lesson by lesson approach. And instead, we're looking at a phenomena and we're identifying what science ideas do we need to understand or do our students need to understand in order to um, explain that phenomena. So that's even kind of giving you your science concepts that you're focusing on or the facts and ideas that you want your students to learn. What do they need to know to explain that phenomena? And then you're teaching those different science ideas and tying them back to the phenomena to create this cohesive unit. 
that was phenomenal what um, and I hope you have a better understanding of phenomena and you are ready to get started using phenomena in your NGSS storyline